All right, in today's video, we've got an awesome new product from Ciro 3D. We're gonna install an Oscars bike in Ultra, which is on the lift. Lurch, what do we got here? We've got the Latitude tail light and license plate holder with light strike technology. They used to only be available for the street glides and road glides, but now it's available for the limiteds and the ultras. Basically 14 and newer, anything with that single tail light on the rear. And this has that awesome light strike technology. If you don't know what that is, it's basically baked into the tail light, communicates with the smartphone app, and you can adjust it for a lot of different patterns. We'll show you some of that a little bit later. Get some woo, freaky stuff going on in the rear. All right, so again, it's just gonna replace this single tail light here, and it's really gonna clean things up back here. Uh, but a nice look, and of course, that awesome technology back here, you know, so you don't get rear-ended, so we can add a pattern. And not only does it look really good, it obviously adds some safety for you. With that said, what do you say we get wrenching, huh? All right, the first thing to get this installed, there's just two Phillips uh, screws, one on each side of the stock tail light that he's getting out of there. And he moved around to the other side there, I'll back that one out. And with those two removed, you can go ahead and pull this out. Of course, it's gonna be wired on the rear here. Pretty standard plug here. It's got a push tab on it. Push on that and pull and get that disconnected. All right, going with another larger Phillips screwdriver there to get that center one out. And that's the one that really uh, holds this frame down. All right, and so with that removed, you can go ahead and remove that frame out of the way. Of course, it's still plugged in there, but we are gonna reuse that. Behind that exposes a retaining clip with nut. We need to get that retaining clip off of there. So we just got a flat head there and you will not be reusing that. All right, and just real quick, before you leave the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon. Every time those are hit, another biker joins the revolution. We'd love to have you be part of it. All right, next he's just gonna remove the license plate there. It's got a couple reflectors. There's a wing nut on the back of those. And since the license plate isn't gonna be up there anymore, we're actually gonna just remove this whole kind of license plate bracket, clean things up back here, that's up to you. And it just removes with a couple Phillips screws there. All right, at the top, there's just a couple, two little rubber grommets, but you just pull on this thing and he's pushing on the back and we'll get this thing popped off here. Just got the one side there. There's the other side. All right, and obviously this stuff hasn't been off in a while. We're gonna use our beloved bug slide to clean things up for Oscar a little bit here. It is our number one go-to waterless motorcycle cleaner. You can use it on paint, chrome, uh, even that denim paint your seats, your windshields. We use it on helmets. It's kind of just an all around awesome cleaner. It puts a nice protective coat on there so everything comes off easier in the future. Bug slag guys, don't ride without the slide is available in the Law Abiding Biker store. Although I'm not sure Oscar would care. Oscar's dirty man. All right, so now what he's doing is just fitting the plate to the curvature there of this uh, Latitude tail light. So now we'll put the license plate cover frame over here and you'll see there's two tabs up there. Those fit back uh, into the holes. There you go, he's pointing at them just underneath the tail light there itself. And just getting everything lined up there. Looks like he's got it, looking good. So in your kit, the screw comes with it. Just make sure you kind of reef up a little bit. You wanna make sure that screw gets in the groove there behind the frame. So you just put a little pressure there. Get his Phillips screwdriver. And you can see where that screw is going in behind the frame there. And of course that just holds the frame and the plate in place. All right, and of course we sell this in the Law Abiding Biker store along with a lot of other Ciro products. If you like this video and all the videos we do, you wanna support us so we can continue our mission to help educate, entertain as many bikers as we can worldwide. You can purchase from us. I will link to it in the description below. We appreciate your support. All right, so this is the uh, Latitude tail light, of course, that he's holding there. Coming off of it are some wires. We're gonna be plugging these in We'll just want to note the stock there, the left side there. There's the port there where we're going to plug in and then the right side. And if you look at this, your purple wire goes to the left side. That's Don't, don't uh, cross these here. And those plugs really only go one way. And the brown one goes to your right. Again, do not get these uh, crossed. And then the other one with the three colored wires there goes back into that same port that we pulled the stock plug from. Before we put everything back into place here, we're just going to make sure it works. Always a good idea so you don't have to take it back apart. All right, just note there's a stud. We're gonna have to line that up here in a minute. It goes through, there's a hole there. And then also there's a big brick you see right there. You're gonna see him fit that behind it. However you wanna do that, just everything will fit up in there at the same time. He's gonna line up that stud and get it through the hole. All right, your kit comes with two Phillips heads, one on each side. He's gonna get that started. And moving around to the left side there. 
The last thing we have to do is that big stud that goes to the inside of the fender that we uh, guided through there. Kit comes with a washer that goes first and then of course a lock nut there. The only way you really do this is just reach up in there. You do have room, you can see, and uh, find your stud there. Lurch, you made that look easy. Looks like Lurch has made a decision that a uh, ratchet and socket 7 16 is probably gonna be the easiest way to get up in there and finish tightening that nut. All right, and that's how easy it is to get this Latitude tail light installed on an Ultra, and it really cleans up the back of the spike and it makes it look uh, more modern. And if you want this on your Street Glide or Road Glide, we've already done videos on how to install that. It's just a little bit different. I'll link to that video in the description below too. So you see that Latitude tail light. Of course, we've got the stock trunk lights, but just how much more uh, you know, you notice when he's signaling. And I do want to note that on this, we've already installed uh, Ciro bag blades, which are just an awesome addition. That's these lights here. And uh, I'll link to that video in the description below. We sell those too, but they're just a really sleek, good looking addition. And obviously works really well with that uh, Latitude tail light. And of course, we strongly suggest downloading the Ciro app and uh, you can select your Latitude tail light in there. And then you can see uh, Lurch is just messing with stuff. Literally, you know, when you turn the bike on, you can have it do a pattern. You can have it do different brake patterns. Pauses, how long uh, when you have your brake lever held down, how many times it does it. Just a plethora of different settings in here, and you can really dial that in. And now Lurch is working with the different signal options on how you want those to uh, look. We've already done a more detailed video on kind of everything within this app and how to adjust things, and I'll link to that video in the description below if you're interested. And if you haven't noticed yet, obviously there's a license plate light underneath there that's going down to light up that rear plate. 